Hello my friends, Oscar Terramortis once again here and this is, uh, let's say, uh, off-topic uh, reviewing stuff um, video. This is about uh, uh, David Bowie and, and Lemmy uh, passed away thing, you know, uh, everything has been said now about David Bowie and, and, and Lemmy of course, Motorhead, uh, Hubwind. But uh, it's really irritating sometimes to see how how uh, a lot of people don't even know the bands or the artists and start to just jump in the trendy car because they are all oh, it's the, 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 the main uh, social media hot topic or trendy topic or whatever you want to call it, you know. Well, this bit is to tell you a little bit. A, a little story how how I can get in touch with these two bands, you know. In the mid '80s, when I was a young kid, a real kid. Well, right now I'm 37 years old. Uh, I went to to the cinema to see the movie *Labyrinth*. And I don't know if you're in, in your country, but at least uh, in some countries. Uh, in, in the mid 80s was like a trendy thing just to show you some kind of making of just before the movie release day or premiere day and know this it could be like a, a an imaginable thing because it's uh, it will be full of spoilers you know back in the day it was some kind of marketing thing you know and I remember I saw the the making of of Labyrinth on the TV, and I was like, "Wow, I want to see that movie!" And you know, and I think I went with one of my other cousins. Also, also yeah, it was my uh, other cousin Raphael who introduced me into into rock music, into metal, and uh, we went together to to see Labyrinth, and you know. It was wonderful to see the performance of David Bowie. Of course, I was a little young kid and I didn't know nothing about David Bowie. Uh, as an artist, you know, it was just me, the guy who plays the role in the Labyrinth film. But, you know, in my at my home, there's always been a radio. And I listen radio, radio since I'm very, very young kid. Of course, when you're a kid, you're you're not in that kind of shit. Oh, this is this this band is this band or this singer is this this guy sings this song. You know, you just want to play and listen the music in the background. But some some songs can just drill your head and never disappear, and, and you know it's part of your childhood. That happened to me with Kiss. You know, Kiss always was on the radio, so. Uh, a classic of my childhood but when I grew a little bit more and I discovered that David Bowie the guy from the Labyrinth movie was the guy who sang the song of Starman I was totally in shock because Starman song was probably or is probably one of my 25 top songs before I got seven years old or six years old. I, as I told you, I, I listened a lot of music when I was a baby or a little, little kid. And I, I really liked the catchy song, you know? So, I, so it's, that song was always in my unconscious and man, I think was I was 10, or 11 years old when I discovered that David Bowie was the guy, uh, the character of the Lowering was behind that song. So that is when I got interested in David Bowie as an artist, you know. And you know, uh, two years ago, or yeah, two years ago, I went to a place, a very big shop here in, in Helsinki, in Finland, where well, it's in all Finland called Antila, and I just got a special edition about Starman, 
and you can see it on the background there uh, is a metal box uh, that includes a book of the photographer Mick Rock and it's a special edition for collectors that includes a book full of David Bowie pictures. I don't know if you, if you will gonna see this because it's really dark right now. But uh, you can see a lot of incredible pictures of baby Bowie that, that time, you know, 70s uh, pictures. And, oh, there's a good one with Iggy Pop. I don't know if you can see it, but um, you know I was amazed because I really love this song. It's one of, you know, music for me is really important, and and uh, to have this uh, on seven inches is really great. As I told you, it has a book, it's a metal box, and it is a. Uh, a seven inches comes in a print slip and it's a red vinyl and once and one side is the seat the side a is starman and the side b is uh let me see if i can listen the sufra got city and for me, this is, apart from being an iconic song of my childhood, it's really nice edition. And I think it cost me like seven euros, the whole thing. Also, I got the Iggy Pop one, because this guy made the, the edition, or at least, yeah, the book and, and the Seven Inches Collection series by Mick Rock. Uh, he made the uh, David Bowie, Sid Barrett, Iggy Pop, and one from Glam. I'm not into Glam, but uh, it's 80s iconic band. Thing. So you can check it out there. Uh, there's a reflection. I, okay. And, you know, guys, uh, this is one of those uh, editions, probably right now. It will, I don't know how much it costs right now, but I got it very, very cheap. And, and you know, it is really, really amazing. Now about Lemmy and Motor, Motorhead. <laughs> Probably the first time I listened to Motorhead, I was maybe nine years old. And uh, I, I, I think I saw it in some TV show, but I can't remember exactly when or which program was. But the first album I, I got from Motorhead was, of course, the classic one, Ace of Space. And I have back in the altar with David Bowie. I don't know if you can see it because it's really dark, but this camera works in very good in a very dark. Uh, um, uh, ambient environment. So this is my little story about well, well, mo mo Motorhead. You know, everyone back in the, in the, those days uh, of my generation were listening a lot of Molly Crew and all the 80s classics, even Bon Jovi. A guy who has my all, and he says he didn't listen to Bon Jovi, he lies. That was the thing back in the day, you know? And we were kids, there's there's nothing, I think like, oh, this is cheesy shit, uh, of course. There was rock music for everyone and there was uh, glam. I, th I don't think that even in that time we, we didn't understand too much about labels and tagging music, was rock music in general. Not even the metal concept for us as a kids uh, were like that, you know, like it was rock music, the music that was forbidden to pick it up, 
to school because of your teacher. See, you were with music, heavy metal music or, or metal music, they were just, they take it from you and stole it from you, basically. That happened, that happened to us, our generation back in the 80s. And no talk about our parents, but you know, uh, many people grew up in, in, in another different kind of environments and, and, and more open-minded par parents. But you know, this is my little story about Bowie and Motorhead. Uh, it is a shame, you know, this a lot of trendy people. Oh, Bowie, Bowie, they, they don't fucking know the artist, you know. I have a, a few records of David Bowie and I didn't pick it up the last one because I hadn't time even to go to the city to to buy the album, you know. But definitely I will I will get it as I got a few records of David Bowie, this amazing uh, artist, song, songwriter and, and Motorhead, what can I say about Motorhead, you know. I saw them last time in Hell, Hellfest 2010 and I enjoyed a lot the gig but I saw, already saw a very, very tired Lemmy on stage. I saw Motorhead a few times and, and the, la the last gig I saw them on, on Hellfest 2010, he was a really, really, really tired guy and well, he was not he got in a good shape, you know due to his uh, lifestyle. But Bowie was more like kind of shocking because no one, no one as, as I know, knew that he was really that sick or, or, or sick, you know, he was just, you know, he's not the kind of artist that released too many records in, in the, last, the last year, so. Uh, yeah, that's it, it, my friends. I wanted to talk to you about this. If you if you uh, had the opportunity to get this edition, don't miss it. It's a really thick picture book. Oh, look, this. Okay, you can find uh, really cool pictures. Ha. Huh. Don't you remind you this picture to Labyrinth? Well, it's like some kind of ball. <laughs> yeah, my friends. I remember I, I tried to look like, like last summer I download uh, the, I download uh, from, from iTunes, I think. Yeah, the, the, the Labyrinth movie to show her to my daughter and of course she's too small right now and she got afraid about the, the goblins and all the paranoia in the movie but she could see that at least the first minutes of the movie and, and that's really maybe in in a couple of years she will be mentally ready to see that kind of movie you know I saw the movie when I was I'm not I'm not sure I think I was seven or eight years old I can't remember it was a long time ago 30 years ago <laughs> so my friends thank you so much for uh, watching my videos and spend some minutes with me uh, this is it I'm going to Helsinki to see initiated see ya